Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Guardian on the Commodore Amiga, and this is a game request by Ashley Farnham. And before I start the review, shout out to Dr. Stagger. He asked for a shout out. There you go. There's your shout out. Right. Um, I've never played this back in the day, and as far as I know, this is an AGA game only. Come out in 1995, and there is a CD32 version of this game, which I won't play because I don't have no nostalgia for the CD32. Never wanted to own a CD32. It's a console version of an Amiga. I wouldn't want to own that. Anyway, so I would have had this if I had this back in if I had this back in the day. I should say it would have been running on my Amiga 1200 because I, that was the computer I owned. Also an Amiga 500, of course. Right, okay. So, so this is a 3D space, well it ain't a space, it is all, so, well I'm gonna explain. Think Defender in 3D. That's the only thing I can think of this game. Defender in 3D. Right, let's start the game. So, there are different ways you can control this, right. I'm going to be using the mouse and you have to use keyboard as well. Um, I think it's just a couple of keys, enter and, or space. Or, I think space is sort of like smart weapons, enter is fire. Right, so let's play the game. I think I've got to push space to start or is it enter to start? It's enter to start. Right. Comes on two discs. Player one, prepare for combat. So here we are. So we're using the mouse to fly about. Now, left mouse button is the thrust forwards. If you want to go backwards, it's your right button. Right, okay. Enter is to fire. And we've got to shoot everything on screen. Oh shit, I almost tried. Well, immediately I'm fucking up. and pushing my mouse button to fire, which I should be pushing enter. Whoa! So you got your radar at the top there. Oh, you kamikaze into me. Oh my goodness. That didn't last very long, did it? Yeah, immediately I think this game is going to be very difficult to play. There's no skill settings on this. Right, that's a smart bomb. I mean, graphics look very good. I think the only problem is it is pretty difficult to play. You've got to get used to this. I like the colours. Right, where is everything? So you got... Two radars there, one's obviously short range and the other one's long range. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, so my initial reaction to this game, <laughs> it's too fucking difficult. Can't beat Defender, that was a good game actually. I mean, as I say, graphics are good. I like the graphics. Oh, it's an, I think it's an ambitious concept. Uh, Defender in 3D. Well, I don't know. I can't see any resemblance to Defender. That's what people seem to say. It's Defender in 3D. Oh, my God. So how do I do this, then? Oh, you got to use your cursor keys. So I can't just type my fucking name in like everyone. Like, right. Oh, my initials, rather. I'm surprised I even got onto the ice score table. Maybe because they know this game is so difficult. 
All right. Guardian hero. <laughs> I mean, I'm a hero after that terrible go. <laughs> so where do I come? Oh, I've got 3,900. I've got ninth place. <laughs> Above was. Oh, dear. I thought that was a terrible go, but... Well, it was my first go, so there's an achievement I got onto the ice score table. <laughs> Alright, let's have another try. Here we go. Do I emerge from that ship? I'm shooting it, I think I actually emerged from that ship. Oh! Oh, he got me! So you get an energy meter. Fucking hell. Yeah, I can't see myself getting off stage one on this. This is quite a, it's quite a challenging game. See, playing this with joystick, I don't know, I can't imagine how that would work. Well, mind you, if it's, if it supports multiple joy, joystick buttons, because this is made also for the CD32, as I said. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, I didn't even see that one coming. Yeah, it is, it is quite difficult. Sounds like Star Wars when you shoot. Right, here we go. Oh, fucking crash right into a building. I think I'm, that's what I'm supposed to be defending. Yeah, from the initial, initial reaction, it's too fucking difficult. But I like the graphics, the graphics are nice. Where where is where are they? Right. Fucking out how am I supposed to see them coming from behind? I know I was supposed to be looking at my radar, but come on. Flip here now. It's just a shame you can't adjust the um, skill level. That definitely should there. I know I'm not the greatest game player in the world, but yeah, it's just too difficult. It needs need um, some of a skill setting. I mean, if I had this back in the day, I probably would have played it and obviously tried to get used to it. 1995. I mean, we would have been in PlayStation territory by then. I mean, even though I did have an Amiga by 1995, an, an Amiga by... Whoa, 1997 I got my first PC. Then, you yeah, know, I had an Amiga all the way up to 1997 before I stopped using it because of, obviously, there was hardly any software by this point. And I went to a PC. I mean, 1995... I mean, it's okay, you know, the graphics are nice. Um, the problem is, my initial reaction is just too fucking difficult from the start. Um, practice makes perfect, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I would have been playing this very much, even though it does look quite impressive. Um, I mean, by 1995, I, I don't think, whatever's coming out on the Amiga, I don't think was really being made for the Amiga 500 anymore. But then again, Worms come out on about 95, didn't it? That worked on the Amiga 500. Um, I think there was other games, but yeah, this is, this is, it's nice, looks nice, but it's, it is pretty difficult to play from, you know, I've had two goes of it and I just couldn't get nowhere with it. Yes, I know, practice makes perfect. But then again, I've played a lot of games where I can get off the first level easy. And this ain't one of them. Anyway, 
going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.